So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be discussing basically life after FY2 or life after the foundation program. Basically, for those who don't know, I'm Lawrence, I'm a junior doctor. I've been working in Malta for the past two years and I currently finished my foundation training. Therefore, I am officially a graduate from the FY2 foundation program. And now, after foundation training, in this video, I'll be explaining the various options that are available for doctors after finishing foundation training. Most of the doctors go on to practice in various specializations, including dermatology, medicine, surgery, urology, um, psychiatry, GP, and other various specialties. However, a recent BMJ study has shown that most doctors actually do not go on to further training and most are actually taking a gap year. Now, in my case, when it comes to post-foundation training, I myself have taken a gap year and I'll be talking more about it in a later video. When it comes to various specializations, the specializations we tend to choose after FY2 can affect our life, our lifestyle, whether or not you have a family, and it also can affect you as a person because everyone is different and some people like to travel, some people like to stay put, and stay on with their families, taking care of kids, taking care of, of uh, family matters. However, some people are more of free birds and they prefer traveling, they prefer seeing other countries and doing other stuff rather than just going down the route of a specialization, working for the next five or six years of your life down the specialization and then becoming a consultant. That is what I call the classic route of medical training. Various specializations have various years of training. For example, if one chooses to do GP, currently GP training in the UK and in Malta is around three years. However, this in the future will eventually become a four-year training program as it is being discussed right now. However, other specialities can take up to four, five years, six years or even more of your life. Therefore, deciding on what you want to do after foundation training is not only important but it is extremely essential for career planning it's also important for us in order to plan our lives outside of medical training itself when it comes to other doctors who don't go down the route of specialty training some doctors decide to take a gap year now what what on earth is a gap year a gap year basically means a year out of training which can be extended maybe to up to two years or three years depending upon what you want to do with your life for example personally i have done during my foundation training program a master's which covered cyber security machine learning and artificial intelligence and during that master's, I basically picked up skills like coding, like Python programming, using algorithms such as machine learning algorithms, AI algorithms, artificial neural networks, convolution neural networks, for example, and a variety of other skills like cybersecurity, like networks, like for example, HTML, CSS, etc., etc. When I did this master's, my aim was that of basic dabbling into something other than medicine. I always knew I liked to explore other areas of life rather than following the same routine route that everyone else takes. And therefore I decided to move on to data science and data analytics and artificial intelligence, for example, within IT or within healthcare systems in order to explore possibly new opportunities. Currently, right now, I finished my foundation training and eventually I'm looking at other opportunities to use my skills that I picked up, for example, the use of Python, the use of machine learning skills and artificial intelligence. And I'm looking for opportunities basically to build up experience in other areas outside of medicine. And eventually, if I don't like the decision I take, I can go back and shift back into medical training. The decisions we take after foundation can affect our future career moves and also our lifestyle. One of the reasons I took and decided to take a gap year after a foundation program is basically having more flexibility to reflect on my own personal needs 
and my own personal thoughts regarding family, regarding friends, relationships, travel, etc, etc. Personally, I'm also on the side studying Japanese. I've been studying Japanese for the past four years and I'm also using and taking advantage of this gap year as I would like to go back to Japan and basically see the country and also possibly shoot some YouTube videos about the country and maybe in the future, maybe not, I might get a job over there in Japan. Who knows? There might be a possibility. We'll see about that as time progresses. Apart from that, basically, I don't have much more to add on to. I think that the foundation program was a very well established program. I think I learned a lot from the foundation training. The advantage of doing foundation training, which is basically similar to the UK system, is that you get the opportunity to rotate in a variety of specialties. Basically, you rotate every three to four months and therefore you're able to grasp what speciality you like and what speciality you don't like when it comes to your future training directions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some insights into possible alternative pathways you guys can take after a foundation program. Again, after the foundation training, you're not obliged to just directly go into medical training straight away. You might also go into one training program and change your mind. For example, you might choose medicine and then decide to do surgery after medicine, that's fine. Lots of people do that and lots of people change specialties once they're also working in one specialty and switching over to another specialty once they're in a particular specialty that they're doing. So changing specialties, deciding upon your specialty and deciding to take a break is all fine and well. There is nothing to worry about. Life has various opportunities. There are a variety of opportunities outside from medicine. If you do a quick Google search, you can find various job opportunities like software developers, data scientists, um, coding, etc, etc. The, the best advantage about learning these skills like coding, for example, is that it doesn't require a huge amount of time as if you had to start again from scratch doing something new like law, like accounting, etc, etc. I hope this video was interesting, guys. Thanks for watching one more time. Please subscribe to my channel as I'm still new on YouTube. And uh, see you in my next video. Cheers. See you next time. Thank you.